This video will cover steps for removing the seat cover on the Snug Ride Snug Lock 30 infant car seat. These same instructions can also be used on any Snug Ride Snug Lock infant car seat that requires the harness to be rethreaded. Once your car seat is off of the infant car seat base, you can now remove the seat pad. But before you can remove the seat pad, you must remove your infant head and body support as well as the harness covers. To do this, first, give your harness drop some slack and undo the chest clip and crotch buckle. Now you can pull out your body support. You can undo your harness covers by undoing the attachments on the other side. To remove the seat pad, you must also remove the harness straps. To do this, you'll need to flip over your infant car seat. So if your handle is up, adjust it and flip your car seat. This is your splitter plate and you will need to take out the harness straps. So do one side at a time. And then you'll flip your car seat back over. Now you can pull the harness straps out. The easiest way to remove your seat pad is by first moving your handle out of the way as well as the canopy and you'll just pull that over the seat pad. Now that your canopy and handle are out of the way, you can pull out the four flaps from your seat cover and begin to pull the seat pad off of the infant car seat. You can just pull your straps through and your crotch buckle. Care and cleaning instructions can be found in your car seat manual. Next, we're gonna cover steps to put your seat pad back onto your infant car seat. As we're doing this, please keep in mind that your chest clip and buckle tongue need to go back through the seat pad. The strap that contains the buckle tongue and chest clip will need to be threaded through the slot in the middle of the seat pad, here and here. As you're doing this, you'll need to make sure that there are no twists in your harness straps. If there are twists, undo the twist and then proceed. Make sure your crotch buckle goes back through the same slot. Next, pull your front adjuster web through the slot at the front of the seat pad. Next, I'm going to thread the harness straps back through the harness slots. In this car seat, I will be using the second slot. Make sure that these slots on your seat cover match up with the slots in the actual seat. Again, make sure there are no twists in your harness strap. Next, you can place the seat pad back around the car seat. making sure that you tuck in the plastic flaps. Next, you can put the canopy back by putting it around the seat pad. And we'll push that out of the way, as well as the handle, so we can go to the next step. Once you've flipped your infant car seat over, you can now reattach the harness straps to the splitter plate. You'll do this on each side, one at a time. Make sure it's completely within the slot.
Next, we're going to place back in our infant head and body support, as well as the harness covers. Make sure the harness straps go in front of the support. And you can reconnect your crotch buckle with your buckle tongues and your chest clip. As a final reminder, make sure your harness strap is not twisted. You'll want to check in the front and the back. Now your Snug Ride Snug Lock 30 infant car seat is ready for use. Please be sure to check your car seat manual for complete steps on installation as well as care and cleaning.